So hey guys, I think I got something really cool to show you guys today. Uh, it involves a different purpose for the excavator, something I never thought I'd be using this for. Wondering what I'm talking about? Check out this video guys, it's gonna be pretty cool. Well hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I have got something really cool to show you. Uh, totally different function and before I get started telling you what I'm getting ready to do Let me tell you the little just a real short history of why this has got to be done So internet at our house was run underground from the last telephone pole onto our property And we started having all kinds of issues of one minute. It's working one minute. It's not So we finally were able to get the service guy out here and every time he checked something He just kept finding more and more things wrong. So the fix was to um, run all brand new line into the house from the telephone pole. So in order to do that, they always like to bring this in real close to your uh, power meter, to your meter base box. And so he ran this in, uh, and unfortunately, the way the service guys do this is to get you back up and running, they just spool it out on top of the ground, and then they put in a work order for a company to come and bury it for you. Unfortunately, they're almost a year backlogged. So for me, I got, think I got a pretty cool answer. Come on, I'll show you what it is. Okay, I'm out here in the middle of the front yard. Obviously, there's the house. This is the last uh, overhead run with my power. And the two top lines are the power. Bottom line is your data. You can see the little box up there. That's where the cable plugs into. Runs down the pole, and for right now, He's got it running across the ground, obviously, just to, so I can have service. Anyway, I guess, I bet you guys can guess where I'm going with this. Anyway, I've got a choice to either wait. I could rent a ditch witch and cut a hole six inches wide uh, and have to rent it, or I can do my 12 inch bucket. But I'm gonna try something. Uh, with my root ripper, I can carve a line that is plenty wide enough. I might have to make two or three passes, but I can carve a, a line deep enough. I've only got to go a foot in the ground. And so, cause you don't have any issues with uh, freezing or anything like that. So I am gonna see if I can make this work. Well, I'll tell you what, this has worked out fantastic. I've got about a, a foot deep ditch. Uh, let me show you where I've already pulled the line. See, I'm down about a foot and uh, I'll take the tractor here in a few minutes and backfill. I'm gonna leave this mound up for it to settle over the winter. Uh, but this is what I've got, it'll be excess. What I'll do is call the company and get them to come and trim and re-terminate. I knew my power line runs over there and I knew we marked it before and this tells me I've been nowhere close to it. On top of that, the power line is 36 inches down and as you can see, I'm only going about a foot down so I'm nowhere close to messing with that. So I'm gonna go put the excavator up. I'm gonna grab the tractor. We're gonna get all of this covered up. I'm gonna leave it mounded and let the rains come tomorrow. So glad to get this done while everything down in this bottom end is still dry. All right, let's go grab the tractor.
So hey guys, fast forward to the next morning. Uh, didn't get a chance to wrap up. Uh, it got dark on me really quick while, while I was getting the tractor put up. But anyway, I wanted to show you. Uh, got all of this down and boy am I so glad. As I was telling you, the rains were on the way. It is raining today. We've had anything from downpours to just a moderate rain like it's doing right now. But uh, I'm so glad I was able to get this down, get it backfilled. And again, I left this mound. So uh, as the rain and time, it'll just settle and pack itself in. So anyway, another job done. I want to do a big shout out to Mongo Attachments. Uh, boy, that ripper, again, it's not designed to do what I was using it for, but it sure did a great job. So anyway, glad to get that done. Guys, remember here at Project Next, there's always another one. So uh, stay tuned for more videos coming. Lots of projects still in the pipeline. And guys, for right now, take care and we'll catch you on the next one.